Hey hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another Yokai Watch 3 guide on the channel. So in this guide we're going to be taking a look at how you can get the forbidden fruit item in the game. So the forbidden fruit item is an item that allows you to instantly befriend any yokai that you are in a battle with. Okay, so to get started you need to head over to Buster's Tea, and once there you need to go into the mission menu and select a mission other than the first one since these missions are going to give you a more certain opportunity to get this item when compared to the first mission. While going through these missions, you may notice that there are a bunch of little coins on the ground, and you're going to want to pick up as many of these coins as possible. Your goal here is to try and get to 100 coins, since this is going to open up a door that lets you access an item minigame. To demonstrate, on screen here you can see that I went into a multiplayer match of Buster's Tea with B-Man, and once we got to 100 coins, a door opened and brought us into the minigame area. In this minigame area, you're going to have a certain time limit, and in that time limit, food items are going to fall from the sky, and your goal here is to grab as many of these food items as possible, since grabbing more of the food items are going to make your score better and better and there are a few things that you're going to want to keep in mind so there are going to be skulls and bombs that are falling from the sky and you need to try your best to avoid both of these things since both are going to drastically reduce your score so as long as you avoid them which you can pretty easily do by looking at what is falling from the sky and avoiding stuff then you'll have a better score in the end. So once you get through the mini game, the panel of elders at the top of the building here are going to judge you based on your score and a chest will pop up in the center of the room that is based on how many food items you got and what points you got correlated to those food items. So just go up to the chest, grab what's inside, and after that just go through the rest of the mission and defeat the boss which is also going to give you another chest that may have a useful item in it. And also, while going through the entire mission itself, you're going to want to grab any chest that you see around the map, since those also have a chance of holding one of the special mission items that will give you the chance to get the Forbidden Fruit. So, upon fully completing the mission, all of the items that you got in the mission will turn into actual items and if you're lucky one or more of these items will become forbidden fruit. So you can repeat this process with a bunch of other missions and get a lot more forbidden fruit which makes it a lot easier to befriend some of the more elusive yokai in the game that are quite difficult to befriend normally. So I hope this helped you guys out in your process of getting the forbidden fruit. If the guide did help you out, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. If you have any questions about this guide, just let me know down below in the comments section and I'll try my best to answer it. And well, thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you all in another video. Bye everybody.